Hi, it's Carly McAvoy. Today I wanted to talk about the bell curve and a normal model. So in this example, it says the mean annual salary for pharmacists in the United States is approximately symmetric with a mean of $150,000 and a standard deviation of $25,000 rounded to the nearest dollar. Label the normal distribution model for this situation. And this is, these are numbers actually more like Washington State, but we're going to just go with these numbers, even though I don't think these are exactly what you would find for the United States. So what this says is our mean is 150,000 and our standard deviation is 25,000. And of course we use mu for our mean and we use sigma for our standard deviation. So what we want to know is what we know the mean, which the means right in the middle. And then what's one standard deviation to the left and one standard deviation to the right? And so in order to find that, you just take your mean and you subtract one standard deviation to get to the left. That'd be 125,000. And then you add 25,000 and to get to the right. So if you think about 150,000 being the middle, take away 25,000, you're one down, add 25,000, you're one up. To get to two standard deviations to the left or the right, we're going to add two standard deviations. So 150,000 minus two times 25,000. Now you're taking 50,000 off. You're down to 100,000 or you're adding 50,000. You're up to 200,000. And finally, for three standard deviations, we would multiply that standard deviation times three, and that would take us all the way down to 75,000 and up to 225,000. And if we put those on our graph up here, 150,000 is the mean that's in the middle. Take away 25,000, you're one standard deviation away. Take away another 25,000, you're two standard deviations away. And take away another standard deviation, you're three standard deviations away. And on the other side, as you add 25,000, you're going up. And what we're going to see in the next video is that the usual values, the range of usual values, is between two standard deviations below and two standard deviations away uh, above. And so join me for that video, the empirical rule, to see more about that. Thanks and have a great day.